Bruce Springsteen, who sang Woody Guthrie's original version of This Land is Your Land with Pete Seeger at President Obama's inauguration this year, headlined Sunday night's concert and began with a moving tribute to Seeger. As Pete and I traveled to Washington for President Obama's inaugural celebration, he told me the... Uh, he told me the entire story of We Shall Overcome, how it moved from a labor movement song and uh, with Pete's inspiration had been adopted by the civil rights movement. And um, that day as we sang this land as early and I looked at Pete, the first black president of the United States was seated to his right. And I thought of, uh, I thought of the incredible journey that, that Pete had taken. You know, my own growing up in the 60s, town scarred by race rioting, made that moment nearly unbelievable. And Pete had 30 extra years of struggle and real activism uh, on his belt. He was so happy that day. It was like, Pete, you outlasted the bastards, man. <laughs> you just outlasted them. It was so nice. It was so nice. At rehearsals the day before, it was freezing. It was like 15 degrees. And Pete was there. Uh, uh, he had his flannel shirt on. I said, man, I said, you better wear something besides that flannel shirt. He said, yeah, I got my long johns on under this thing. I said, <laughs> and I asked him, I said, how do you want to approach this land as your land? Uh, I said, be near the end of the show. And all he said was, well, I know I want to sing all the verses. You know, I want to sing all the ones that Woody wrote, especially the two that get left out, you know, about uh, private property in a relief office. And I thought, uh, of course, you know, that's, that's what Pete's done his whole life. He sings all the verses all the time, especially the ones that we'd like to leave out of our history as a people, you know? At, uh, at some point, at some point, Pete Seeger decided he'd be a walking, singing reminder of all of America's history. He'd be a living archive of America's music and conscience, a testament of the power of song and culture to nudge history along, to push American events towards more humane and justified ends. He would uh, have the audacity and the courage to sing in the voice of the people. Now, despite Pete's somewhat benign grandfatherly appearance, you know, he is a creature of a stubborn, defiant, and nasty optimism. <laughs> you know, he, uh, he carries, inside him, he carries a steely toughness that belies that grandfatherly facade, and it won't let him take a step back from the things he believes in. At 90, he remains a stealth dagger through the heart of our country's illusions about itself. <laughs> Pete Seeger still sings all the verses all the time. And he reminds us of our immense failures as well as shining a light towards our better angels and the horizon where the country we've imagined and hold dear, we hope, awaits us. And on top of it, he never wears it on his sleeve. He's become comfortable and casual in this immense role. He's funny and very eccentric, you know. The song that, uh, I'm gonna bring Tommy out, and the song Tommy Morello and I are about to sing, I wrote it in the mid-90s, and it started as a conversation I was having with myself. It was an attempt to regain my own moorings. And its last verse is the uh, beautiful speech that Tom Joad whispers to his mother at the end of the Grapes of Wrath, which says, uh, wherever there's a cop beating a guy, wherever a hungry newborn baby cries, wherever there's a fight against the blood and the hatred in the air, look for me, Mom, I'll be there. Well, Pete has always been there. Bruce Springsteen honoring Pete Seeger on his 90th birthday Sunday night at Madison Square Garden. Back at the inauguration, Springsteen, Pete Seeger, and Tao Rodriguez Seeger, Pete's grandson, sang on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, This Land is Your Land.
Seeger, Bruce Springsteen, and Tower Rodriguez Seeger at the inauguration singing those often forgotten words of Woody Guthrie's This Land is Your Land. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report.